guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about trying this new foundation by NYX. It's not totally new, but it is new to me. It's the NYX Total Drop. Total Control Drop Foundation. And I got this, I want to say about maybe a month ago. A little bit of a month ago. I have a ton of makeup that I have to go through. And yeah, I wanted to try this out. And I wanted to do a first impressions review and a demo on this foundation. I want to read some claims really, really quick. This Total Control Drop Foundation, it delivers to your to full coverage. So you're supposed to apply it with light coverage for two drops or more, medium for three drops, and full which is four drops or more. Now I'm not exactly sure what the claims are for this foundation, but I will list them somewhere on the screen because I don't have any information in front of me other than the packaging. Really hope you guys enjoyed this demo first impression slash review. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below and let me know if you've also tried this foundation. I'm curious to know if you guys have tried this foundation. You guys will know how I feel about this foundation when we get into the demo. So if you guys would like to know a little bit more about this foundation, then go ahead and keep on watching. All right guys, so I've already primed the face and I did my eyeshadow because I wanted to speed up the process because this video is mainly going to be about the foundation. So this is the NYX Total Control Total Drop Foundation. I know this has been out for a little bit so it's not like super super new but it is super new to me and my collection. Wow, this box is a pain to open. So this is what the foundation looks like. This is my first time opening it and looking at it and holding it in my hands because I bought it a while back and I have so much makeup that I need to go through and I need to do videos on them too but this is the size of it look how cute and tiny it is I literally thought it was going to be bigger than this but this is tiny I got mine in the shade true beige so I'm really hoping that this is my shade I was um looking at reviews and different pictures and seeing how I can find my match do you hear that it's very, very liquidy. You're supposed to shake it really, really well. Two drops for light coverage, three drops for medium, and four for full, and so on and so forth. You can always add more drops if needed. That is really liquidy. So I'm gonna apply this in two ways. I'm gonna do one side of my face with the Beauty Blender and one side of my face with a brush. I'm gonna bring you guys in just a little bit closer. There you go. My face is... <laughs> having its own adventure going on. It's red and it's got a lot of acne going on and I don't know why I've been breaking out here in like red inflamed texture. So we're gonna see how this foundation covers up. So I'm just gonna take some on the back of my hand and apply my foundation to this side of the face with the Beauty Blender. Super yellowy, well yellow. It's very, yeah, very, very yellow. I'm hoping that's my shade and it's very liquidy. So this is one layer applied with this foundation and it looks like it's about a medium coverage because you can still see my acne marks peeking through. I still have some foundation left so I'm going to try going in with a second layer. Alright so I went in with a little bit of a second layer on the areas that I wanted more coverage because right here is my most problematic area and first off I have to say that the foundation shade is looking way too orange on me I literally thought this was going to be my best shade so we will see how it looks you know in the end with you know setting powder and all that good stuff it can be built up to like a medium to full coverage of course you're gonna need a lot more drops for that but yeah I don't know how I feel about it yet so that's what this side looks with one to two layers, maybe. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side with the Moda Prismatic brush, and I forget which one this is. Honestly, they don't have numbers on it. It's the largest brush out of that collection.
So right away I am not liking how this brush is applying the foundation to my skin. It's just making it very, sl I don't, I can't explain it. It's making it streaky and it's not blending in correctly. So I'm just gonna switch to the Beauty Blender to finish off this side. I feel like I look like a banana or I'm going to be coming like a banana because it's like this foundation is really, really yellow. Like I am yellow toned, but this is insane. I mean, look at this. <laughs> okay, so I am done applying the rest of the foundation to my face and <laughs> I don't know. I feel, I don't know. I feel like I look like a banana. That's how I feel like. Because the foundation is very, very yellow. Like it's almost like it has orange in it because it looks super yellow and like a deep tone yellow. So once I finish blending at least one side of my face, it starts to set down to like a demi matte. Like it's not super matte, but it's not dewy at all. And you can see a little bit that it's not as shiny. And then I realize that as I'm trying to blend it and I go over it again like on my nose, it's already starting to move and it's starting to separate. And I don't like that. I feel like I have to go back in with some more foundation to cover the nose again. I really, really want to like this foundation, but it's just not looking good. It's not looking good. Even though I pumped maybe five to 10 drops onto my face because I wanted full coverage, I still don't feel like I'm getting full coverage because you can still see my pink skin looking through, peeking through. Yeah, Let me give you a closer look so you can see it. Okay, up close and personal, welcome to my face. So you can still see my acne, you can still see some scarring, you can still see the pink peeking through the foundation. So it's not, not full coverage. It's not full coverage in my opinion. And every time I go over it again with my beauty blender, it starts to break up again. It is just not good at all. Like I am not, I don't know. I don't want to say that I'm not liking this foundation because I feel like maybe I have to play with it a little bit more to see. I don't know. So I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face. I'm gonna apply concealer, setting powder, blush, bronzer, you know the deal, and I will be right back. All right, I am back and I finished the rest of my makeup and I don't know how I feel about this foundation just yet. I feel like one, the shade is was just way too orange and yellow toned for me that it just doesn't look like it was my shade at all. It was super orange kind of, more of a deeper yellow, yellow, okay. Really, Miss Medea just came out of me. I went ahead and I set the foundation with a translucent setting powder because I didn't want to add any more color to the foundation itself. I just applied my bronzer and my blush and a little bit of highlight too. And I'm not impressed at all with the coverage because you can still see um, marks and acne marks and redness still peeking through. Up close, you can see the most of it. If I were to zoom you guys in, I went ahead and zoomed you guys in so you can still see the texture and the redness and the acne marks that I still have that you can still see under my foundation. It didn't really give me the full coverage that I thought it would give me, but that's okay because that's why we're trying out this foundation. If you're like me and you have a lot of acne marks and redness and things like that, if you can find a way to cover it up with this foundation, great, that's great for you. But for me, I keep trying to and it just doesn't cover the way I wish it would so I'm going to keep playing around with this foundation. I almost never have anything bad to say about a foundation so I feel kind of weird giving you a negative review about it. I don't want to give you a full negative review because I still want to test out the foundation and let you guys know what I think later on. I do want to test this foundation on today. It's not really early in the day. It's only 426. I'm going to keep this foundation on for a few more hours and then check back in with you later on to see how the foundation is still sitting on the skin and if it broke up or anything like that. But first impressions for me, I'm not liking this foundation only because, like I said, it's not full coverage in my opinion. 
and also once it dries down you cannot try to apply more foundation or try to blend it out more because the foundation tends to break up on my skin it kept breaking up on my nose and moving every time I tried to blend it out after it was already drying down which is not a good thing because I want to be able to have a little bit more time to blend out my thing my foundation my foundation before it you know tries to set down also after setting the foundation it is caking up around my nose too which is expected some foundations tend to do that to me sometimes but after I set everything down with powder bronzer and blush I did apply setting spray and I used the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water to do that so that it would eliminate the dry, patchy lookingness that my skin had going on with this foundation. Alright, so I'm going to be seeing you guys in a little bit. I'm just gonna lay around the house and hang out with mom and just not do much of anything. I will be back in later on to check with you guys on how the foundation's holding up. Alright guys, I am back with an update and it's the end of the night, at least for me it is because I'm so tired. It's almost 9 o'clock, it's like 8.45, 15 minutes till. But I wanted to give you guys one final update of this foundation. Ugh, I do not like this foundation. I'm so, so, so bummed to say that because normally I don't say or speak of anything negative about a product, but I do not like this foundation. And let me show you guys a close up right there. The foundation is breaking up and caking around my nose and it settled into my lap lines on my face. There's a little bit of oiliness here. And then on the chin, it broke up and got super patchy, which I do not like at all. But I did forget to mention that I paid, I believe I paid $10 for this foundation at Ulta. I'm gonna try to keep playing around with, with this foundation to see if there's another way that I can use it to where I can get to like it. But for right now, my opinion on this foundation is not good. I don't like the foundation right now, but I am going to continue playing with it and see if I can Change my opinion for it. I don't know. I'd like to keep playing around with it. Maybe try a different primer or something like that. This concludes my review and demo for this foundation. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the review. Let me know if you have any questions or what you think about this foundation. Let me know if you did like this video. And you can just comment down below. I would really appreciate it. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And subscribe before you leave. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.